Good morning, Dave here, AF5DN. And today I'm going to be going over the remote control functions of the Kenwood radio that I have in my, in my Jeep here. And I printed out a couple of the pages on the manual just so that you can have reference to it. If you're in the manual, you're going to be on page 86. We'll describe the, uh, the functions of the crossband repeat that you can perform. 85 is kind of the setup. There's two things you probably want to turn on. Uh, the first one is your pin number, which you will have to have, and the second one is your answer back. Um, now I've, uh, I've taken these control functions and put them on a little uh, card that's laminated uh, so that I can keep with my handheld or in the glove box or wherever I'm going to be going. Now I'm going to be demonstrating the uh, remote control functions with the little uh, Osan 2-meter uh, radio. And uh, I've done this with a Bofang and a HYT and, and pretty much any of them that has DTMF functions can uh, remote control the little Kenwood radio. So let me get in the, uh, remove the, relocate the camera and we'll go through the setup. Okay, so you can see what I have here is the, uh, the access or a description of what it is. Uh, and the uh, code here and what I've done this is just a quick eyeball reference is I've added out here green for on red for off and uh, so this is something you can do you can just make your little cheat sheet this is fairly small you can put it in your uh, your uh, coat pocket and I just put my uh, top eight repeaters on here obviously you can see I got room for a few, few more or you could keep an extra uh, probably an extra card with repeaters on both sides of it if you wanted to. Alright, I'm going to try something a little different right now today. I uh, normally uh, don't do this uh, dual picture thing, so it's <laughs> going to be an experiment for me. Uh, okay, so the first thing we need to do <clears throat> is to set up the two features that's required for the repeat mode. Uh, that is your uh, answer back and your pin code so on the uh, the Kenwood up here you hit the function key your menu and the first one you have and you can dial it in is uh, 522 522 and that's your pin code and you can change those numbers to whatever you want okay uh, just just three numbers and then select okay and then we come out and the next one is the 523, or, which is simply the answer back on or off, and you want it on, okay? <clears throat> okay, now keep in mind the layout of the some of the keys, like the pound key, is different on some radios. So if you like uh, just doing a, a pattern, like on this radio, I could do five... Uh, four six pound would be a good pattern uh, the the bofang the pound key is at the bottom you could do two five eight pound or something like that or just a number you can remember all right so the next thing on the radio you have to do is put it into the uh, your your communication side of the uh, the uh, remote function into the VFO mode and pick a frequency and as you can see I've picked 445-900 on the Kenwood and 445-900 on the Osan. Alright, so now here's one thing I want to show you and it took me a while to figure this out. The push to talk and control for the, re for the remote control function to work must be on the non control frequency so just go ahead and push that over and put it on put your push to talk and control on the on your memory channel before you put it into remote control mode now to put it in actually put it into remote control mode you power off uh, crossband repeat is tone power on remote control is the reverse and power on and as soon as you get the light you can release all right, so now you see my control is flashing here on the uh, my memory channel. And the next thing you have to do is to go into the uh, where I did my little gouge sheet. 
have to go into the uh, the function. If you look at your little chart here, you're going to see that that is an A, the three-digit pin, and a pound sign. Now, on these little guys here, they often don't tell you what the A, B, C, D keys are. And almost all of these little handhelds, the A, B, C, and D, start from the left and go across the top. Now, they only transmit those DTMF tones when you're actually transmitting with the push-to-talk button. So let me see if I can get uh, get connected here. If I've done this right, I should get an answer back. So we uh, do push. We get our push to talk. Nine six zero. See, that won't work because I didn't hit the A first. See, it's an important learning process. So we go A nine six zero pound, and I didn't get a response. Let me try it again. A nine six zero pound. Why am I not getting a re response? <laughs> I guess I wasn't punching it in fast enough. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, these things never go right when you're video. Okay, this is live video. This is not studio where you can do this stuff 150 times. All right, to end the access, it's pound star or pound uh, a pound. Let's see if I can push that in fast enough. A pound. There we go. Now we got that confirmation back. Uh, okay, so let's try getting it in there again. And, and again, you got, I think you got to go pretty fast. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking. Got to go quick with that one. All right. So the rest of these things are pretty straightforward. The biggest confusion about this is changing memory functions. Now the first thing you want to do is uh, make sure your memory mode is on which is a 9. So all you have to do is hit transmit 9. Now you're definitely in memory mode. If you're not looking at the radio uh, that will make sure you're in memory mode. So then direct accessing uh, the memory mode is simply a channel. So if you look here, I'm on channel 44. If I want to go to channel 35, it's going to be just simply um, A03 35. And you can see I switched to 035. Okay, so that's why I put on the back of the, the back of the little card. Um, the memory channels that I use the most. Now there's some I just remember and I don't have to know what uh, numbers they are. Uh, the Skywarn channel is one of them, the Arlington repeater is one of them. I don't, I don't have to think about those. I just know if I want to go back to the Re Arlington repeater, I can A044. Acknowledgement and up here you see I've went back to the Arlington repeater. Okay, now there's another trick because <clears throat> right now just modifying the uh, the functions don't really do me a whole lot of good. Now you can adjust the power. I'll do that. I'm on high. I really don't need to be on high. Uh, so that's going to be zero. You can see I went to medium. Zero. I went to low. I'm going to punch it back on medium. All right, so I'm back on medium. It's just a toggle. It works the same way the power or the low button on the front channel works. All right, so crossband repeat. This is where the real function comes in here because what I can do is I can turn this on in remote control function and leave it. It's not an open repeater at that point. It has to be turned on, but I can turn it on and off in remote control mode. Uh, so to do that, when you're looking at your, your little sheet here, your uh, crossbound repeat mode is C. Uh, so remember that's A, B, C. So all I do is transmit C. So now I'm in crossband repeat mode. Now the, the fallacy is if I just key up and start talking, it doesn't do anything. I've turned crossband repeat mode on, technically, but the radio is not in crossband repeat mode. The only way to do that then is to 
exit out of the, uh, the remote control mode, which is the pound key. We did not acknowledge that. Why aren't we doing that? Oh, I should have referred to my paper. It's a pound. There we go. So now we're in crossband repeat mode. If I key up here, I uh, should get a response from my Arlington ARC repeater. Let's see what happens here. And if you noticed up here on the radio, uh, when I keyed up, I was getting a bars on both my control frequency and my memory channel. All right, so I've remotely controlled, put it into crossband repeat mode. How do you get it out? Okay, well, you got to go back into the remote control mode. Uh, same way with the push to talk, A960 pound. Okay. As soon as I get in that repeat, uh, that uh, remote control mode, the crossband repeater is turned, the mode is turned off. But now to turn the function off, uh, you can refer back to your sheet, and that's going to be number D. And again, A, B, C, D. So, D. No more crossband repeat. All right. So, take this little guy, uh, experiment with it, uh, make you a little gouge sheet. Uh, you may, you might put something like crossband repeat mode, um, A, pin, pound, uh, C, A, pound, or something like that, and, and do the whole string. Uh, so that you can remember uh, what all of the functions are when you're in crossband repeat mode. Now, one of the biggest, like I say, one of the biggest things is if you're in crossband repeat mode and you want to change a memory frequency, what you have to do is just follow the same process, exit out of crossband repeat mode, turn it off, okay? Change your change your memory frequency using the direct input. You can you know uh, just A and then punch in 044, 045, 099 or whatever the channel is you want to go to. Turn crossband repeat mode back on. Exit out. You will now be in crossband repeat mode with the new memory channel. All right. So that's a little weird. Um, I'm going to probably write some some step-by-steps on this uh, and put it up on my web page uh, if you're this is like uh, April 20th or something it may take me a week or so to get that up there but it'll eventually it'll be up there and you can see it and I'll just have little little strings of how to how to do this these are all the commands how to do this here they're all the commands a little bit more uh, concise than, than this thing because this is almost clear as mud if you've never played with it before all right, so very functional, uh, a cool thing to play with. Um, you know, all I can say is this is an excellent radio, and when you're when you're playing with the remote control and taking it in and out of crossband repeat, and changing memory channels and putting it into VFO and punching in your your crossband repeat function, uh, you will be happy with uh, with what you get. All right, so. Uh, that's it for now, and I appreciate you watching. I'm Dave, AF5DN, and have a good day.